Well, the Grand Rapids community put their clean water knowledge to the test with an interactive game that took players all over the city. Reporter Sherelle Moore has that in this week's Community Spotlight. A hunting prize for you. Something strange is going on in Grand Rapids, and it's up to the community to solve the mystery. NorthernLights.mn is an arts organization based in the Twin Cities. They collaborated with Itasca Waters, the Rife Center, and the Grand Rapids players to create Aquanesia. What the players do as they're going through the game is that they're meeting these fantastical characters and they're learning clues about how clean water works or doesn't work and sort of what, how we build our cities to maintain healthy systems for ourselves and for our water. Teams were sent on a mission all over the city to solve this futuristic water crisis. Each station was specifically crafted to teach about clean water. In one station, you're, we're looking at how uh, Runoff on lawns um, and, and agriculture can really create eutrophication in the lakes. Where you're also looking at algae and how do you clean that up or invasive species. When the contestants finally go through all the stations and solve Aquanisha, their final stop is right here in the reflection zone, where they can think about everything they learned throughout the day. At the end, they bring together all of these experiences and all of these clues, and they synthesize that content to understand that this is really a complex system and that there's no single cause, but that we need to find the balance of all of these things working together. The creators say the game is meant to be physical, and the actors were meant to be memorable so players can really retain the message. The key learning that we hope people take away from the game is that we are all in an ecosystem together. That if the water's not healthy, we're not healthy. And for the groups that went along on the journey, some say they couldn't think of a better way to spend a Saturday. It was really fun. I think our whole group had a really good time. Um, and we, you know, we learned a lot. It was, you know, got us uh, um, outside moving and, and um, doing stuff as a family. Reporting in Grand Rapids with this week's Community Spotlight, Shrum Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.